Hello everyone, it's Thomas from Runway Inside Aviation YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am going to show you how to make your shadows sharp in 4K and bypassing the fact that Microsoft Flight Simulator actually doesn't allow you to do so. We are now in the cockpit of PNDG 737 and as you can see the shadows are now set to 2K which is the maximum allowed uh, resolution by Microsoft Flight Simulator and the shadows are blurry, they flicker around, it's best visible on the MCP panel. As you can see, it doesn't look very good. It's flickering like crazy. It's not sharp, doesn't look that great. And we are going to fix that right now. If you go into your settings by pressing escape from a scenario or in the menu and then going to the general options, you should see a graphics tab. Click on that. And when you scroll down a bit, you should see shadow maps. Here we have it set to the maximum allowed setting, which is 2K. Uh, if I try to go even further, it goes back to the lowest setting. So as you can see, the sim by default only allows you to go for 2K shadows, but we're going to bypass that by going into the CFG file and changing them to 4K ourselves. So for the time being, you can leave the shadow maps at 2K, close the simulator and follow me along. In order to set your shadows to 4K, you need to locate your user CFG file. For Microsoft uh, Store users, including myself, it is your PC, C drive, users, then your username, updata, local, packages, Microsoft Flight Simulator and local cache. For Steam users though, it is in this PC, uh, C drive, users, your username, updata, now be careful it's not local but roaming, and then Microsoft Flight Simulator straight away. You should see your CFG file there, so open the user CFG file. Now we need to press the combination control F in order to bring up this search uh, feature here, and you're just going to type there shadows and press enter, and the very first uh, result which should come up is shadows Underneath you should see max slice count 4 and the size that's the uh, value we are most interested in. As you can see now it is set to the maximum uh, allowed uh, value by Microsoft Flight Simulator which is 2K but we can just simply delete this and type there 4096 which is the resolution of uh, 4K shadows. Uh, that's pretty much it. Now we just need to save the file. We can now close it, we can now close the file browser as well and start the Microsoft Flight Simulator again. Alright, so here we are loaded up in a scenario once again with our 4K shadow set and uh, as you can see the shadows are way sharper, they have some more depth to them as well which is always what we want. They still flicker around a bit but that's just the uh, same limitation, it's uh, definitely way better than it was but uh, definitely the sharpness and the depth is way way better. Uh, just uh, for the sake of comparison, let's head into our set settings and uh, let me show what we actually uh, have done. So we set the shadow maps to 4k now which uh, as uh, I showed you earlier can't be set uh, by default by the interface. Uh, you need to go into the user CFG file but if I put this uh, down to the 2k setting which is the maximum settings that uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator allows you to go to as you can see if I Turn this back to 2K and go back into the simulator, you can see that this now looks horrible, <laughs> right? After we saw what the 4K shadows actually look like. So uh, definitely this is a, a really a good improvement to the overall look of the simulator. And uh, I think you will uh, really appreciate while uh, flying with the sun shining into the cockpit like this. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It was a very short one, but I uh, hope it was helpful regarding performance. I didn't experience any loss of performance whatsoever. Uh, it is a fact that I am running a, a higher end setup, but at the same time I've been using the 4K shadows for over a year now and really didn't experience anything significant. Uh, if you are running a lower end PC, maybe there you could have some problems, but it is really easy to fix if you want to go back to the 2K shadows. You just simply go into the settings and change the shadow maps from 4K to 2K and you're good to go. 
But overall, I really think this helps a lot uh, with the overall look of your cockpit, especially when flying in sunset, sunrise, when the sun basically shines right into your cockpit and all the shadows illuminate uh, on your panels. So it looks really nice and I hope you will enjoy this. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you already knew about this or if you learned something new from this video today. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new and until next time, take care guys.